This is WZARD Chicago 88.3 FM. And we have with us at WCRD a local artist, uh, a rapper, Edward Reyes. Welcome, Edward. Hi, how's it going? Oh, here we go. How's it going, everyone? Um, very, very well. Here we go. Okay. Let's just keep moving it. Oops. All right. Having a little diff- technical difficulty here. Yeah. Uh, but so my my name is Edward Reyes. Um, I'm a local rapper, but my my stage name is Sativa Reyes. Um, I mainly perform in the suburbs of Chicago right now. I'm really trying to spread out a little bit more to the surrounding areas. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me on the show today, Miss Wizard. Okay. Let's uh, maybe try it this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Edward. Um. Uh, uh, how did you start out uh, in your uh, artistic career? I um I really just started one day when I was I was really feeling down, and I didn't really know how to express myself. So, uh, one of my friends was like, "Hey, maybe you should start writing poems or or making songs." And uh, ever since then, I've just been making songs. Every time I was feeling down or like really just having a strong emotion, I kind of want to like put it out there and and have other people relate to what I talk about. Mm. Uh, how old were you when you started writing? Um, I believe I was, I was nineteen when I started, so it was um twenty, twenty eighteen, twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Mm. And um, uh, how has uh, the subject material changed? Because I understand that often you're trying to address problems, but uh, how wide ranging is uh, your topic? Uh, is your subject material? Um, I really like to talk about really taboo subjects, um, such as self harm, drug abuse, um, uh, just really like really dark subjects. Sometimes I'll I'll talk about uh, more social subjects like discrimination. Or uh, I, I'm working on a song right now talking about glass ceilings and how no one really, I I don't know. Sometimes it feels like people don't really notice what's going on, on around them really, and it's it's almost like kind of like aggravating. To see from like a outsider perspective, and uh, what about your uh your 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 ability to uh to rap? Um, uh, so you wrote wrote poems, but then um, uh, how did you uh, start it performing? Um, it's so funny. I I didn't really start performing until like last year. Like last year, um, I was I was watching a interview about Post Malone where he was talking about how he started off and he was talking about how he would go to open mics. And I was like, well, you know what? I I feel like I've done everything, but I've never really performed like a lot. So I, I started going to like open mics all over the area um, in Illinois. Uh, and I started meeting a lot of people recently. And that's when things really kind of started taking off. And hopefully I can keep going with the momentum that I have right now. Uh, who were uh, some of the people that you met who will help you? Uh, so right now I have a group of people. Uh, they all make music. They're called Block Block Hustle. Um, I I kind of ride with them right now because they're really helpful and they're they seem like very genuine people compared to other people that I've met. And um, I was uh, I was I was introduced to a lot of people by uh my buddy Wes uh Wes Jeffrey. He does some music too. Uh, he's I feel like he's pretty important in the music scene as well as my friend uh simply sage i really like her she's pretty cool very genuine when uh when you uh uh, started rapping did you get any uh stage fright oh my god i'd get so much stage fright um i remember the first times like i would forget words and i'd be like oh my god you know why that even happened if i know like this song i get back in my hand um but i think as you keep going and and you keep doing more shows it kind of goes away but sometimes you kind of almost like have to like, like hype yourself up to really get up there and, and do your thing. When did you realize that um, even if you forgot the words, the uh, audience would not know about that? You know, what's funny. I didn't realize that till later on. I was like, oh, man, I forgot. But I'm just going to make something up and, and see what happens. And most of the time, like no one even noticed. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How did you uh, learn to project? Did you have any uh, voice lessons? Because you seem to project very well. 
Um, you know what's funny? I never I I never did any voice lessons or anything. I did some guitar. Um but I don't even play guitar anymore. That's kind of funny. And um I would really just play music really loudly in the car and I just sing till like I couldn't sing anymore and then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should kind of like sing the same way some of these people are cuz it seems like it's working. <laughs> And uh, do you have any uh, thing that you uh, uh, that you would want to perform for us? Oh my goodness. Uh yeah, um I can perform um one of my hit songs Black Candles on air right now. Uh I actually just came out with a music video for it. Uh if anyone's listening and you haven't heard it yet or seen it, um go on YouTube and just type in Sativa Reyes and you're going to see a lot of my stuff on there pop up. Um Could you spell it? Uh S A T I V A R E Y E S Sativa Reyes. Do you want to uh, do a little performance for us? Yeah, give me one second. Let me get this. Uh, let me get this going real Okay. quick. Okay. How many uh venues do you uh do? Are you getting more and more venues now? Uh, versus before. How 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 is your career blossoming? Um. So I actually, since I got in a lot of practice, I um. I I'm able to manipulate, um, how I how I look on stage better and and kind of really like put out the stage presence, and um I think a few people seen that and they've invited me to their venues or I've just met more people that have told me about different venues. Um, there is this guy he's he's gonna help his his name's Randy Randy Gibson he's pretty cool he's gonna help me uh get in the forge on October. What was it? I think October 13. October 13, there's going to be a rap contest if anyone wants to go at the Forge and Joliet. Uh so it's just people like that that are really helping me uh expand my horizons right now. I'm still looking for the beat guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay. We'll uh there's a lot for us to discuss meanwhile. Uh So what is uh your uh, your advice to young artists uh who want to uh perform as well? Hi. Uh I think that they should definitely uh write write a few a few songs down. You really only need like three to start off. Um because every time you go somewhere they're going to ask you to perform one to three songs and three three's just such a good number. Really just put down like just really write down like what you feel when when you're trying to make a song. And um don't you know don't let your anxiety get in the way of things. Like get out there and And do your thing because we only live once. So it's like you know, just go for it. What is your opinion of um, uh, a performer, a performer uh, performing the uh, same song or uh, songs uh, again and again at different venues? I think you should maybe do that like one one year, but then definitely after that year, write different songs because. You're gonna come back, and you know maybe they're gonna expect something new, or you're gonna bore some people. What does your family uh think of your uh artist artistic endeavors? Um, it's funny because um, I don't think anyone really thought I was gonna take it seriously, myself including. Um, but my dad always wanted to be a singer before, and I didn't even know that. He just told me one day, and. He said that's why he came to America, and I thought that was pretty cool because it's like I didn't even know he was trying to be a singer before, and here I am. <laughs> so, uh, your dad must be uh, proud of you. Yeah, very. Does he uh, go to uh, uh, a lot of your performances? Uh no, not yet. Um, I think it's it's because most of the times I don't really tell people unless like I know it's gonna be like a for sure thing, and um, a lot of people are just very busy right now. But I hope soon he's gonna come to one of them. Uh, what about your uh classmates and uh and your other friends and uh yeah your uh your 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 friends? What do they think of your uh, performances? Um, I think they like it a lot because uh some some of them will show up and I think it's pretty cool when they show up. I really appreciate people that um uh, that aren't like scared to like support you in person. Mm -hmm.
And uh, who are some other of your uh, mentors or uh, people who have helped you? Oh, this uh, shout out to my boy Sadrus X. Uh, he's another rapper. Um, he, I was actually about to give up on music when I was before I even really started. Um, because I didn't know how much effort it takes to really get out there. Um, and maybe like from the outside, it doesn't seem like it, but dude, it's like so, it's like it's so hard to get out there and and do your own thing, and then like at first, like no one really believes in you. Um. You know, maybe they'll even look at you like a clown. But, you know, as as you like start kind of like actually getting out there and people start seeing things happen, like it's it's kind of crazy how like you see their perceptions change. Are you thinking about uh, recording any album? Um, I'm not sure I'm working on a song or two right now, Um, but I don't I really want to like sit down and make sure that what I put out is like quality material because i don't i don't want i don't want to put out like stuff and then like people are like oh man you know this is like i could have done better or something like that you know it's it's crazy like trying to get like your quality up and stuff it takes time are there any other artistic uh uh endeavors uh other uh, hidden talents that you're also working on besides uh rapping and singing so I'm also a tattoo artist, um, but not a lot of people know that, or maybe they just think that I don't tattoo anymore. Um, but uh, I'll I'll do that sometimes when I get bored, or when I just need some work. I also uh, I also went to trade school for a little bit. That was kind of cool. I really like like building stuff with my hands. To be honest, um, I don't I don't think I can like sit in an office. I feel like I'm gonna get bored. <laughs> well, uh, there's a, a local trade school, is uh, Symbol Training Institute that we uh, uh, interviewed a, about a week or so ago. So maybe uh, you might be interested in uh, connecting with them. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What about the uh, your your interest? Like, uh, let's say you like like um, tattooing. Did you ever apply uh, tattooing to a song? You know what's funny? Um, I don't think so. I don't I don't think or maybe I just don't remember, but I don't think so. But when I was younger, I never thought I would be uh, like doing what I'm doing or or having a bunch of tattoos on myself. <laughs> so what are your uh, future plans? Like how much uh, how much performances do you do now? Do you go to open mics and then uh, and then try to get gigs? Um. So I used to do a lot of open mics to get uh practice but now that i have the practice i feel very confident in my abilities to perform and uh i uh i try to stick to bigger gigs right now so that i can um broaden my horizons and reach new crowds that aren't there uh for example in september 5th i'm going to open up for an american rapper omb pc uh i heard it's going to be big i'm just hoping it's big yeah uh see Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana, in uh, Pierce Entertainment Center. Okay. So that'll be really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, Edward Reyes, thank you so much for joining us uh, on uh, WCRD Chicago 88.3 FM and giving us uh, some insight on your work and uh, the life of an artist. Thank you so much for having me. I really like being here. It's pretty cool. Thank you.